I'm really, really proud of the way Tia Mori is handling her divorce. So as you know, I'm not, ha you know, I'm sad. I'm sad for her and Corey, John, because they were married 14 years. They have two children. Um, but Corey commented on one of her posts with a heart emoji. And Tia replied with, I love you. Then she posted a video looking very, very beautiful. And she said, I am, am love. I am peace. Look how beautiful she looks. Um, and it was just, it was great. And then, meanwhile, former Real Housewives of Atlanta stars uh, Cynthia Bailey and Mike Hill have split. And, um, yeah, you remember, they were famously married on 10, 10, 20. And, they're, and supposedly they're amicable, but John, you spoke to Mike Hill recently. What did he yeah, say? Yeah, yeah, I reached out to Mike when I heard the news about this, but because Mike's my friend, he's a good guy. And he said, this is probably the most amicable divorce ever, and they're still really good friends. Okay, so here's the thing. So Tia, T, you know, Corey says to Tia, uh, a heart emoji. Tia says to Corey, I love you. Mike Hill says this is an amicable split. Why y'all getting divorced? <laughs> Like, I love you, and I'm, I'm really, I'm glad that it's not messy, but l let me tell you what happened during a real divorce. Because <laughs> I done been through two of them. When you get divorced, it get ugly. Like, I wasn't talking about no piece of love like Tia. I never look like uh, Tia sitting on the bed glowing. <laughs> like, like Tia. No, neither one of the divorces. I was looking a hot mess. And, and you... <laughs> When you go through a divorce, you know why I wasn't sitting on the bed looking lovely? Because I tried to burn that bed up. I, let me tell you something. I was in that divorce. I was so mad. I literally, I was outside hair looking crazy going, Father God! You better get him, I'm gonna kill him! Let me tell you what happened during a real divorce. Sometimes the police get called on, on the, well, at least on me. He called the police on me. But I'm telling you, my dad gone divorce. I was so doggone mad. I'm still working on forgiveness. I still, I still. Don't look at me, Tia. I still got a lot of spit in the corner of my mouth. I swear to God. I'm waiting. I don't even care which one it is. The, please don't come in front of me. God, I got a, boy, I got a lot of spit. <laughs> I'm telling you, but that's why I love it, because I, you know, I lost my hair, because you know, you go through a real good divorce, you lose that baby hair. <laughs> I had, I, but the one thing I do you know to lift your spirits when you go through a uh, divorce, you got to do something positive for yourself. Because I work. I booked a job on Broadway in Cinderella playing <laughs> Kiki Palmer's mother. <laughs> Kiki played Cinderella. So I was on Broadway. I started a wig line and I had it on QVC. I had a wig line. <laughs> but even through all that, I tell you, I gained so much weight because I was eating. Look how big I was. Oh, my God. That dress was like, I, it, all my double chins was just, I couldn't even bend my neck back. Because that's what you, a lot of people typically go through that when they go through a divorce. And I, this is why I love that Cynthia and Mike are good and Tia and Corey are good. It always is cordial until you got to start divvying up the assets. That's what it is. Then you start trying to figure out, you know, you like, you ain't going to take my baby PlayStation. <laughs> Uh-uh, you are not gonna take the, the dog. You are not getting the dog. <laughs> Trying to figure out who's gonna get the air fryer. It's just, it's, once you sit with those lawyers, it's no more peace and love. It gets dicey, but hopefully these couples will be fine. You know, because a lot of them, Gwyneth, uh, Gwyneth uh, Paltrow and Chris Martin, they did a conscious uh, uncoupling. Coupling, yeah. I don't know what the hell that is, but they consciously <laughs> uncoupled. You had Jennifer Aniston and Justin Theroux. They, they went out to dinner the other day uh, and had dinner. Then you got, uh, I, 
it's all it's always these people, the celebrities that that have the cordial divorces. You don't never hear about Barbara and James <laughs> having a good, you know, divorce. You when oh my goodness, but I hope it works out. Cynthia, I think Cynthia's gonna be okay because Cynthia's got the Bailey wine cellar. She's got her Bailey sunglasses. She's got uh, uh, the Bailey modeling agency. She's got Lake Bailey. Uh, I think Cynthia's gonna be good. She's gonna be here for our Halloween show, so we'll get to we'll get to ask her.